Anomalous runtime behavior detection is one of the most important tasks for performance analysis in high-performance computing. Most existing anomaly detection methods in HPC are based on the execution times of the functions. To take advantage of the context information, we improve the existing methods by representing each function execution as a call stack tree. A call stack forest is constructed from all the invocations of a function in an HPC cluster. We formulate the anomaly detection problem as finding anomalous tree structures in the forest. We integrate machine learning and visual analysis to detect the anomalous function executions in an HPC cluster. To represent the structural features, the trees are decomposed into bag of subtrees. With these subtrees, our proposed stack 2 vec is used to embed each tree structure to a vector. The call stack tree embeddings are used as the input of the anomaly detection. In our visual analysis system, the scatter plot shows the projection of the stack 2 vec embeddings. For the exploration of the trees of interest, zooming in and out, and interactive selection are supported. Summary structures of the top candidate anomalies from the scatter plot are visualized. For the selected tree, the user can investigate its detailed structure and the anomalous subtrees. The timeline shows the execution structure and the messages between the HPC nodes. The first scientific collaborator, SC1, trains the anomaly detection model on the LAMPS data. He first selects a blue point in the center of the scatter plot to explore the normal call stack pattern. Its structure and timeline show short and regular function invocations. He chooses another tree, which is the most anomalous one from the candidate list. There are some vertices with large sizes, indicating the long execution times. The top subtree visualization shows the subtrees which make this tree anomalous. SC1 switches to the timeline visualization. He notices that there are several communication delays of the functions. By zooming into a delayed function of MPI wait, he learns that it waits a long time for the responses of other nodes. During the exploration of the timeline, he also notices a long flush causes the latencies of other nodes. These patterns suggest the problems of the scheduling strategy of the HPC nodes. After examination of other candidate trees, SC1 finds that the same situation of communication delay also occurs in other nodes around the same time period. He labels those trees as abnormal and exports them for his scheduling strategy analysis. In the second study, SC2 has a special interest in verifying and understanding the patterns of the call stack trees which are learned as normal. He explores the structural pattern distribution by selecting trees in different locations in the scatter plot. He examines the points in a cluster and notices there are different structural patterns. He selects the cluster by a lasso tool. The center of the selection is visualized in the bottom two views. The structure shows an abundance of tiny Evkali functions. The top subtree visualization also indicates that the substructures which contain Evkali are anomalous. In the timeline visualization, Evtoli functions are also invoked frequently in the context HPC nodes but without any communication. Finally, SC2 labels all the points in the selected cluster as anomalies, he trains the model again, the learning results are updated. In the third case, SC3 focuses on the NWChem application in the HPC cluster. He selects the top anomalous tree. The subtree visualization suggests that the substructure which roots at MD Shake is anomalous. In the timeline view, he finds that MD Shake calls lots of MPI functions. This indicates the initialization of communication between nodes. For comparison, he also explores a regular execution of MD Shake, it has few MPI functions. Although the previous frequent MPI invocations are rare, they are expected from the source code. SC3 labels the candidates as normal to modify the model. He continues to explore another tree. He finds that MD forces is called after waiting a long time in the selected tree. This also causes the delay of the other nodes, since the context nodes are waiting for the results of the selected tree. SC3 labels them as abnormal and updates the model. This model is saved for future anomaly detection of the dataset. Thanks for watching.